All right, guys, bit of an update on the A. I'm just swapping off the bodies for the other one that I chopped. I was trying to work it along the rafters here. Got an engine crane on the back, a little bit hillbilly, but it's coming. All right. All right, we've got this body on the frame now, so I think that's pretty good for a Sunday. I think I'm just going to clean the garage up, and then uh, probably during the week or maybe next weekend I'll take the doors off that other one and then start framing in this top and doing some more body work on this body and then uh, yeah slowly but surely we'll get her there that's a little bit better I can at least move in here now <coughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna do yet but uh, she's getting there I think the reason I chose this body over the other one is that it's uh, the base of it's a lot more sturdy. Like, sure, there's some spots where they cut out to get the get all the bolts out and stuff, but it's a lot more stout. Um, this other one, like the cross braces and the other one, are completely rotted out, so the body is able to flex here. But uh, with the two of them, I should be able to kind of cobble them up. This piece here is going to be the worst, though, in order to get it all sealed up and there's a few inside too like the corners and that back piece and a bunch of stuff to do but we do have a steering column now and the panel that goes across right here uh, gauge panel and stuff and that other body these are really nice on it over the door so kind of got a visor too I gotta straighten it out and then I think I might, uh, instead of maybe leaving this that I built, I might cut it out of the other one and use it now that I have one. So we'll uh, get her all buttoned up the way it's supposed to be. And then this side here has to have a lot of body work on it. And then see if I can pound out these dents and some stuff. So for the next few weeks, it's probably just going to be welding in patches and body work and stuff. And I still got to filler all this. And get it so it disappears but I'm liking the look of it anyways it sits way way high but once we get everything going I'm gonna have to switch out that rear end for a GM one so uh, something that'll uh, be able to accept a drive shaft because these ones they run like a sealed torque tube I don't think there's very much a way that I can adapt that trans to a small block Chevy, so I don't think I'd even try. Um, just put it in with an automatic. I need to find a rad and some stuff for it too. Uh, then what I plan on doing with these wishbones here, there's a bracket for them, kind of attaches to the bottom of the transmission. What you do is you hack it off here and you stick in a threaded bung and then a tie rod and then back out on this frame here I'm going to weld a piece of like box on it and then you'll be able to have a tie rod that goes through it so that frees up the center because both of those are connected right now so it'll bring the radius rods so that they're heading from the outside to the axle instead of kind of underneath it where it is. And the same with the back too, they're really long. So probably what I want to do is I got the midway point here somewhere to join. So it cut off like two or three feet of it. And then uh, get rid of these here. And then what you do is you take this and you shave it off. And then you can put your shock that comes up so your shock will come up here and then off here you're gonna have some box tubing just to hold the shock and then that should get it kind of rolling and then this funky bolt pattern I seen that they make adapters for it so I could run my other rims so if I get an adapter for it and then uh, I was looking at some websites and that and you can get a backing plate off of, I think a 48 to put hydraulic brakes on it because these ones here um, 
they're actually actuated by a cable. I don't, yeah, this one's, yeah, right here, or a rod. So, be nice to have actual hydraulic brakes. But, when you get hydraulic brakes, there's a nice kit that puts your master cylinder right here in the frame rails. So I can get rid of these pedals and that. I think the only thing that's holding the suspension on right now is somebody has put a plate onto the transmission just to hold it. Because like I said, all those uh, wishbones or whatever are held into the trans. So, And then you can get lowering springs for it too. So I might be able to do that. But... We'll see. Another option is to uh, take off the torque tube and they make an adapter that goes onto that banjo rear, but uh, I think a small block Chevy's just going to shred that thing immediately, so probably want to put the rear end on there. And then that just means I have to cut off all the bracketry in that and weld it onto the new one. So trying to get a decent welder here before I do too much more, so videos might be a bit slower going just so we can uh, do some better weldings and especially if I'm altering frames too like you don't want to be doing that with flux core it's a bit of a stretch even to do body work with but yeah I think so let's cut the shifter off too so. yeah start putting the cab together now get it nice and solid and then uh, I could start working on floors and some stuff maybe some interior panel and panels and a roof and stuff but you can always see too that there's been old repairs done and stuff here too I don't know if you can see but someone has welded this cross member into here and then put screws in instead of the rivets so at one time you never know this could have got hit but Everything appears to be nice and straight, so. This body's a lot nicer too, like the way the firewall is. The other one has great big holes in it everywhere. Who knows before body work too, it'd be nice to take all this and sandblast it so I'm not working with rust. That poor 15 stuff does a pretty good job, but not as good. That's what that stuff is on there, but it'd be nice to get it down to bare steel. I don't think I'm going to save the patina on this one. It's too, too much work into it. Kind of looks good. The real funny thing though is that uh, when I, we pulled it out of the field it had one of these tires on it. The thing's still got air in it, man. Like, who knows how long it's been out there. So, kind of like the looks of the spokes on the, and then the rims just on the back. But, it'd be nice to put snowflakes on it. But, kind of gives it a cool look like this, too. I haven't really decided. So. <sighs> this one's a lot cleaner to work with, too. The other one has like the nice Ford sill, sill plates that go on it and stuff. Half of the nails are already pulled out of this one, so it'd be easy just to spot weld it in place. So, I think what I'll do is I'll just bend a, a little bit of 90 on a piece of sheet metal, run it down to here at this point, and then just give it a V cut, and then I'll be able to wrap it around here. I'll do is I'll just pull this panel out from underneath here and give her 
a slice all the way up. And then you can have one seam here. But uh, the other one has really good quarters in it. So I don't know. I'll do some measuring and stuff and see how well the wheel well lines up. If so, I might just slice it here and then go all the way back and put this little bit of a wheel well in it too instead of having to make that little piece. But it, it's a 30-31, so it's different here. Like this belt line on it is like a double rib, and it's a lot higher. But I always thought that the doors wouldn't fit, but they appear to be the same measurement. So once I cut the top of the door off and get it in here, we'll see. But first I gotta deal with the hinges. They are absolutely stuck. Yeah, using this one for parts, I think, is a better idea. You can just see how hammered that, kind of like the bottom of the floors and that are. But the stuff I need, like that little sill plates and the doors and that, can all steal off this and the dash. And then I'll just chop here and here, steal that whole front piece. And these measure out to be the same, so I can steal those. See how the belt line's different? It's got two ribs on it. But it does have a nice bead roll around here too, so I might be able just to steal that whole quarter panel. We'll see.